Hello, it is Miss Lynn from Lovely Decor, and today we're going to talk candles. I am and have been going through my home, and I love shopping in my own home. You ever shopped in your own home for some things? But I was looking at some candles and some ways that I want to do some candles. These are some of my blinged out candles that are in my um guest bathroom that is beside my office and so I was thinking about some candles as I was going through the house and so let's talk okay everybody I was in my living room and doing some uh DIY doing another DIY and I was thinking about tall candles um and as you can see I've place a couple of tall candles here at my fireplace because I'm always thinking about not just the now but the here and later too. So not just decoration that you do for now but what you can do for later. And I know I want to do a winter wonderland theme but I love candles. I always like to think about what you can do for the later too. So these are a couple of of candlesticks that I already had in the home. Actually, I had them in the hallway going to our home office, but I put something else there. So I thought, uh, let me move these to this area over here because it looks really nice. And having the tall ceilings, I can do this. So anyway, I moved these candles over here. But these candles on top, if you know anything about buying candles, especially the tall candles like that, they can be pretty pricey. So I thought of a way that not only can I have a tall candle like this, and these candles uh, that I'm getting ready to tell you about, they are the candles that cost either anywhere between $6.99 on up per candle. And so not only did I take two candles and make them into one tall candle, but I put a little texture on the candles too. And it's the actual wax that the candle is made out of that is the texture. And so you can do this if you just want an area, even your fireplace where you want to have two tall candles. And so I, I did this, and I think I'm going to add a little bit more of the candle wax and stuff to this one to make sure that you don't see the break or know that this is not one candle. I'm going to add a little bit more texture, but these turn out beautifully. I took two candles and made them one and put a whole lot of, it just put a different stand, a different look over here. And I like it because you can order these candles online, but why order them when you have them? So give me one moment. Hi everybody. I am now in my home office. I'm moving all from one place to the other. But I wanted to show you how you can take two candles and make them become one and add texture onto them. And that's what I'm doing. And so what you're going to need for this is tacky glue. You're going to need the shavings right here, what I have, of a candle. You're going to need, this is the shavings that actually come from the candle. And all you do to get these shavings is go up against your candle like this and see the shavings will fall right down. And you just put them in a pile until you're ready to use them. Now, I have not shaved all of my candles because I like the mixture of the different textures. And I did this one, but I'm not going to add any of the wax on to it. I'm going to add the wax over here because you don't, <coughs> excuse me, have to put the wax on every candle. But I love the way these turned out. And this was a good idea for me, adding the wax around here because it closes up the uh, indention where the two candles meet. Now, when you do this, you have to have two candles that are the same size. And you take the two candles, use whatever glue. I'm out of my um, 
E6000. That's the glue I use to bond these two together. But you can use any type of industrial glue that is strong enough uh, to put these two together. So that's what I did. I just took two candles, put them together with my E6000, let them dry completely. And then I begin to make with my fork. You just take your fork and come down your candle like this and you begin to see the shavings fall. After they have fallen, you take the thick part of this and take the tacky glue, which is this, which is I'm getting ready to show you because let me bring this cup closer. All I did was take the fork. I took a fork and I just shaved it down like this. And when they drop, I just put the shavings in a pile. And then I took my tacky glue for the ones that are candles like in my living room area. And I just grubbed this down. I love this tacky glue because uh, the thing about the tacky glue is it dries clear. And I took the tacky glue, 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 glue. <laughs> tacky glue, and you just put it on the candles like this. And now you have added texture to these candles and it's the candle wax. That's what I love about it. It's a candle wax and you have added texture and you just turn and, you know, get some of the excess, excess uh, glue off your hands and however you want it to be, just put it on there like that. Take you a little bit more of your wax. Take a little bit more of your wax. Put it up here on your candles. Press it in, you know, and look, voila, you have made your own textured candle and you can just keep on going around this candle or however you want to do each candle that you're doing. You can keep going around it until it is completed. An easy thing to do um, and truly beautiful. And you know what? I found a way. I'm looking at this. This is a way, too, that you can make snow. <laughs> if you have a tray, you can make snow out of the wax that's off the candle. Not only texture it, but you can make snow with it. And guess what? These, you, you don't have to have it in a certain place, a pattern, or anything. As you can see, I'm just doing putting some glue on the candle and sticking this wax up here and you know so it can stay sticking these wax up here sticking this wax up here creating tall candles out of two candles using E6000 bonding glue or any kind of glue that's strong enough to hold glass metal is good but it does work and now, I'm just going to kind of take my hand and get, I'm finished texturizing. That's all I want on there. And so look, now I have a couple of candles. And what I'm going to do is just keep adding where you made the, um, where you brought the two candles together. So you no longer see where the two candles meet. You keep adding this. Keep taking your sticky, clack, sticky, tacky glue and putting it on here and adding this. And now you no longer know. And guess what? It is a messy job. You will get your fingernails and everything else messy, but it's worth it. And now you have a couple of tall candles, textured candles of different sizes. I just don't want to put it on here. I'm not going to put any shavings on here. And um, I'm just going to leave those clear. And you can put these on display in your, uh, I got a little bit more on here. I just want to see a finished product that you can't tell that this is two candles. It looks like one tall one. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video and it's something that you can do with some of the candles around your home that you may not be using at this time. God bless you. Have faith because faith always moves mountains. And keep on encouraging those who you encourage. 
God bless you. As I've said before, this is Miss Lynn with Lovely Decor. Happy decorating, everybody.